All right, I have a bunch of these parts that are bead blasted ready to print or paint. I've covered my engine up, got the transmission mast off, and I'm gonna start spraying things because this is gonna be the warmest day we see probably in the next 10 or 12 days according to the weatherman. And uh, I wanna get some paint on it and then I'll rip into the suspension. The air blows out pretty quick here. I'll give you a, that's all I'm going to spray it. I'm not going to put any more on it than that. That looks pretty darn good. I put the old vacuum modulator back into paint so I won't get paint on the new one. Looks like I got everything and it doesn't need to be thick. So that's why I just kind of just put a thin coat on it. Good enough.
the engine stuff doesn't have to be super, you know, multiple coats. That's plenty of paint. Go get the next part. I think the transmission came out really nice. These were, this was not, or it didn't look like it was originally painted, so I masked it. And these nuts or the cooler lines looked like they weren't originally painted. So I masked them too. But all in all, I think it looks pretty darn good. I'll uh, sand this out. Once every, all the paint's dry and everything, I just haven't had a chance to... I'll probably do it with some 80 and then some uh, 320 and then some 400 just to kind of get it uniform looking, you know, so it looks like that. It's, you can kind of see lighter and darker areas from where I cleaned it up and I want to get that out of there. But I think the transmission looks fine. I painted the fan. I just carried these parts outside and sprayed them and uh, that's what I like to do. Saves covering everything up in the garage. Turn the light fixture off. Maybe you can see it a little, a little better on this side but the Ford thing looks good. Came out pretty nice. We'll move along and I'll show you the, the rest of the components. The power steering bracket came out pretty nice that's one of the alternator brackets the engine side is kind of beat down looking but the side you see I think looks I think that I don't remember which side you see but it'll look fine and uh, the radiator support thing for at the radiator meets the core support that water pump pulley that kind of looked horrible a dipstick tube the end of the dipstick tube was not painted originally so I masked it <coughs> where the original paint ended and ended the paint there so that's painted up the way it was originally and of course the other alternator bracket looks pretty good and last off the oil cap for the engine so you can still see the the moco and where I've masked it so I wouldn't get paint on it but yeah it looks really nice so everything's looking good painted the head of the fan blade bolts and the head of the alternator bolt and if I chip the paint a little screwing them in on the edges I can touch that up that's no big deal but at least it's got the good enamel with the hardener so and I got to clean this is for the alternator and I'll just buff this. This was natural. So I'll just clean that back to natural. So I don't want to stir up dust tearing into this stuff. So I'm not going to work on the car itself. I, I want to get my jack stands and get these moved. And that will give this paint a chance to dry for 24 hours before I go tearing into things and stir up dust in here. And... Uh, I think that looks really, really good. I'm really super happy with it. Hope it works as good as it looks. That's the way it's supposed to look. Did I forget to show this fact that I got the new rubber grommet for the valve cover that says 66 and Moco right there. Moco is facing if you stood in front of the car to read it, so you're going to see it backwards. But yeah, I got a new valve, new grommet.
Well, hopefully I don't have too much pain around my face here from the mask. Sometimes you can see a line of clean and then the paint from the overspray from spraying. So hopefully, I haven't looked in the mirror, so I don't know. i got to go clean up, I guess. But anyway, that's going to be it for the day. This is just a quick day of uh, getting some paint on some things, and I'm not even going to beat blast or, like I say, work on the car. Any, I don't want to stir up dust by that paint. It's still slightly tacky. It's, you know, it feels dry to the touch, but really I want to let it dry an honest 24 hours before I start tearing into things on the car, you know, any further to stir up dust. So if you like the video, hit the like button. If you want to see this car resurrected, subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching.